Hey, this is Jeff. Paratech struts, when used for vehicle stabilization, you have tons of options. They're basically an erector set with lots and lots of choices that you can modify for the rec scene that you're dealing with. For example, real quick, this is a strut that is for, goes from 25 to 36 inches, and then you just tighten the collar in. If you're going to like build a system, let's say that uh, uh, this strut wasn't going to be long enough. We have other struts like this that goes from 37 uh, inches out to 58 inches, and we have other choices in the length of struts to capture the load you're trying to deal with. But let's say you're trying to build a system you're needing to extend this out. <clears throat> we have all kinds of different choices and extensions themselves that will allow you to make the strut longer. And then, of course, when you're looking at these, you know, we have uh, 24 inch uh, extensions, 12 inch extensions, and many other choices. But maybe we're building a, something to, to handle an extrication. This is a base that, that we would utilize. And then we have different choices of heads. For example, we have a piercing point. Uh, we have a contour uh, head. We have a, a multi head. There's lots of choices that would be used. And then this ring, it would be something that we would anchor across the tension if we're making like a tension buttress. So we have lots of choices when it comes to building the system uh, for stabilizing the vehicle if you're choosing to, to use the Paratech system to, to do that with. Paratech can be used for a lot of other things also if in the rescue world. We'll look at that in another film. But let's take a look here as an example of stabilizing a vehicle. Hey, this is Jeff, Georgia Fire Rescue Supply. Some of the auto accidents you're going to respond to, you're going to find a vehicle resting in a kind of an odd and precarious position. And we're going to take a look at in this video, we're going to use uh, struts from Paratech to stabilize this particular vehicle and we'll see a few applications uh, how the Paratech struts can be utilized. So uh, hope you enjoy this video. This is the system we're going to build. Now we're going to chalk behind the wheel using a piece of uh, composite cribbing on each side of the vehicle. Here we're checking a step chalk and turn it upside down using it as a wedge to uh, hold the vehicle in place. Now we'll take a Paratech strut, uh, set it at an angle between 45 and 70 degrees and uh, go ahead and extend it into place to our target that we're going to capture the load at. Due to the fact that all the debris that's in the way, we're not going to use a ratchet strap here. We're going to anchor it in by driving pickets into the base. Uh, and we're going to use two pickets on each one of these bases to hold it securely in place. And then uh, we should be able to move on to the other side of the vehicle once we get that driven in. To finish tensioning up, what we're going to use here is what's called a framing hammer. It also has an attachment like a little spanner wrench on it right there where I'm pointing. If you don't have those, you can also use a typical fire department spanner wrench for tightening these up uh, to get them tensioned in uh, proper tightness for the load that you're trying to support. Now we're going to repeat on the driver's side. We're going to set the uh, strut, get it extended into place, and go ahead and tighten the collar down by hand tight. And get ready to uh, anchor it down with the pickets once we get that uh, strut set. Now we'll repeat what we were doing on the passenger side. Going ahead and driving the pickets in to anchor the base to the ground. Always use two is what we're going to recommend, at least two pickets when we're doing this. Now we'll take a, either a spanner or a framing hammer to tighten this up to get it tensioned up the way it needs to be to hold the load. Again, you can use either two, a traditional spanner wrench or a framing hammer. So the vehicle, as you see, that we've got the load suspended 
on the front struts. Some things that you need to consider is, is this fender indeed intact or not? If it wasn't, then you may have to uh, find a better place. The point is, make sure where you're uh, trying to stabilize is truly a stable st structure point that it's strong enough to hold the load that you're going to suspend onto this strut. Some pe people watching the video may think, well, why don't we put a strut here underneath the uh, vehicle? And that, that's an option, but the point is, is what we've done here is try to take these struts and put them in points that are away from the doors that may be uh, removed while we're removing the occupants during the extrication. So it's just a point to think about and consider when you're doing your size up of your own extrication scenes in your community. So originally when we were chalking in this vehicle, you see how we've got this wedge put into place to try to prevent the vehicle from sliding this direction. I'm going to show you an alternative to this using one of the shorter Paratech struts and a couple of straps as to what you can do. So here we're going to take this uh, strut and we're going to set it up against the trunk. There's uh, enough space there to do that. We extend it, go ahead and uh, tighten the collar up. And then we're going to go from there and uh, take a couple of straps. We're catching the, the spokes on the wheel here and uh, putting in a chain cluster. And then we're going to you know, attach a ratchet strap to it and tension it on each side. So here we're repeating basically what we did on the other side of the vehicle. So this was an alternative to what we did have done and accomplished with a, simply that wedge that was up under there. This is capturing the load and preventing it from going this direction. To step it up one more step of security to this, you could also put pickets into this base plate and that would really round out this whole operation and make it very, very sound as far as the security of the load trying to go and slide this direction. So th this will take a look now at a 360 view of just going around and taking one more look at this using this alternative for the back end of the car. So this is what it looks like when the job is done. So there you have it. You got one example of how we can use the Paratech uh, vehicle stabilization struts in this particular situation. This is a light vehicle. We could use this in heavier loads all the way up to commercial vehicles. And this is just giving you an example of what can be done. The uh, system from Paratech is truly an erector set, so you can apply it to a lot of things and build a lot of different systems. If this vehicle was in a more complicated position, we could build a system for that. So thanks for watching this video. And as always, you can reach us at 866-479-5495. Numbers on the screen. Paratech gets uh, a lot of great products out here in the rescue world. Let us come show you what we got. Contact us and we'll do a demo. Always look at us on Facebook and check out our website at georgiafirerescue.com. Thanks for your time watching this video and we'll catch you later down the road.